Hi there. A lot of times teachers keep asking how do we ensure all the learning styles in the class are covered? How do we ensure that we reach out to maximum children? Anything like this requires a teaching model. And one of the models which is quite helpful is called VAK. V A K. Visual Auditory Kinesthetic. Or I would say see, hear, do or see, hear, move. If you bring these three things in the classroom, it pretty much covers most of the learning styles in the classes as my experience goes. You can do it in two ways. One is when you're designing your lesson plan, your teaching strategies can include see, hear and do. It could be see, you have watched a movie, hear, talk to each other about what you have watched, do, write a short note about it or present the information through drama. It can be also in the way students are grasping information. So you have taught something on the board or something is written on the board, fine. Again, they talk to themselves to grasp that information or they talk to a buddy and then they may be converted into a mind map or a concept map or a model. So either ways, either in designing your lesson or teaching children how they can grasp the concept, you can use see, hear, do. Do can also be move and gradually you will notice there are some children who prefer a see, there are some children who prefer a hear and there are some children who prefer a do and you would know these are the different styles that they prefer when they are learning something. Some children will flip flop, today I want to do a see, today I want to do a hear and they would have the space to do that. So either way you would be able to create a space in the classroom where multiple students can learn from their preferred style of learning. You have differentiated your classroom. Try this VAK visual auditory kinesthetic or if you want simple terminology see, hear and do. Thank you so much from Humane Maths.